folks, Moose here. So this video, um, I wanted to do a couple of quick things. I wanted to, um, one, I wanted to touch base on a video that I posted last month, um, starting to show you folks a little bit more about eBay and how you can profit by it um, and repurpose things, have things be reused instead of recycled or discarded. Um, so what I'd like to do is at least once a month, once every two weeks, uh, is put out a video on um, you know, general eBay use. Uh, but first I wanted to follow up with <clears throat> uh, one, a video I did in October where I posted some license plates and some doorknobs and stuff. So I just wanted to show you um, what happened with that. And another reason for this, I, I had a someone comment on, on that video about how I wasn't being very transparent and how, I don't know, uh, that I need to be more honest with how much money I make on this stuff and that I'm probably making more money on YouTube than I am on eBay, which I'm not. <laughs> uh, but we'll get into that at some point. Um, so, this uh, the first thing that I want to show you was um, one license plate. So this was the trailer license plate. You should be able to see that. So that sold for um, $17.00. It was one license plate for a 1968 main trailer, um, and the buyer paid six dollars and ninety-five cents shipping. So that sold. I just blacked out, you know, stuff that the buyer probably wouldn't want people to see. Um, <clears throat> the two, a set of two 1967 plates, uh, main plates again. They sold for looks like thirty bucks. And buyer pays six ninety five shipping, which is basically you know a padded flat rate mailer. Um, well, one of these things, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, then I also sold um, a vintage nineteen sixty seven license plate, another one, um, another set anyway, for nineteen ninety nine plus six dollars and ninety five cents shipping. All right, so you can see that there. So these are printed off of eBay, so you know I'm not, I'm not you know trying to trick you or anything like that. This is these are actual sales, um, and the big one was the, uh, the the lot of vintage doorknob hardware. So I remember mentioning that you know if I were to take that to a scrapyard, very little of it was actually brass besides the handles themselves, um, a few little pieces here and there, but most of it was magnetic. <clears throat> um, but you know, they all seem to function, and you know, it looked like everything was included. Um, so I posted it on eBay. Uh, I found something similar, a set that was similar that sold for like 250 bucks. Uh, so I posted mine for 200 plus shipping, and um, I pu also put it with uh, or best offer. And as you can see here, it sold for 175. That's all I got. 175 um, plus 20 dollars shipping. So, from that one little scrap pickup, and that was all from one little pickup that took me about an hour, um, so we've got 20, 50, 67, 67, so we got almost $250 um, in sales from that one pickup that took me about an hour, and you saw the video, it took me hardly any time to post all that stuff as well. And I mean, there's still stuff on, still stuff that hasn't sold, um, mostly license plates. Now, since then, I've also sold other things that I've picked up, like you know, remote controls. Um, oh, I can pull it up right now. All right, orders. Let's see, all orders. All right, so I sold a remote that I picked up. You probably can't see this, um, <clears throat> but uh, so yeah, so I sold, oh, and I didn't print out that. So I also uh, sold another license plate, a 1974 plate. Um, it was a single plate, car plate, not a trailer. Um, it was 1974 though, so it was like 10 years uh, newer uh, for $9. Um, I sold, <clears throat> so that remote, I sold it for 15 bucks. Uh, that was the, um, yeah, I'm going to be posting a video um, very soon about a projection screen TV that I picked up. Um, 
the TV itself had some problems, but he had two brand new extra bulbs, which I posted on eBay. Um, the remote, which I posted and already sold. And, you know, I, I pulled out the DLP chip and the rest of the electronics. I don't know enough about it to resell it comfortably, so I just scrapped it all out. <clears throat> well, let's see. Vintage doorknobs. And I also sold a laptop. A Dell Inspiron laptop, uh, Intel Core i3. Um, so this one was a laptop that um, someone was throwing out and pulled the hard drive out so there's no possibility of someone's information getting you know, hacked or stolen or whatever. Um, and sold it for 36 bucks. So buyer paid for shipping. So that brings me to the next thing that I want to talk to you about was shipping. A lot of people, um, I've had a lot of questions in that video, things that people want to learn more about. So the first thing that I can tell you um, is if you want to start selling on eBay, the best thing to do is to go to USPS.com, uh, the US Postal Service, open up an account, it's free, all right, and then go to order shipping supplies and get yourself a bunch of priority mailers. Now, these are great for a lot of reasons. One, they're absolutely free. They don't cost you anything. They will ship them to your door for free. All right. So I usually get like a, a bunch of different ones. I've got a section near my garage where there's just you know a whole variety of different ones. I get the regional rate A and B, but they have two different sizes for each. I get both of them. Um, I get the large flat rate, the medium flat rate, um, small flat rate. This is a, a regional rate B box. Well, it's kind of it's folded up right now, but it, it's, a, it's a perfect size box for laptops. Um, <clears throat> I get a lot of padded flat rate mailers. Um, these are great, especially if you sell like clothing items. They, they fit in there really, really well. Um, I'm a big guy, so most clothing items that I sell are going to weigh more than a pound. Um, so the, the trick is with um, these flat rate mailers is that no matter where it goes, no matter how much it weighs, it's the same price. So the prices do change, so I'm not going to mention the prices in this video because this video is going to be up for years, hopefully. Um, but keep that in mind. So when you're posting your item, it just takes a second to go to the USPS website and see what um, like a small flat rate box. How much does it cost to ship that? Last time I checked, it was like uh, $7.10 for a small flat rate box. All right. But the more you sell, the more you use uh, USPS on your eBay account, you can start getting discounts so it costs you less. And the buyers don't know that. So that's another way to make a little extra money. Unfortunately, of course, eBay also charges you um, a commission off of the entire sale price, including shipping, but it's, it's minimal. It's like 10%. So you know, just keep that in mind with your listing price. Uh, so I, I think... With that, the other thing that I wanted to mention was if you sell large items, I believe, I prefer anyway, to uh, use FedEx. FedEx prices are f fairly inexpensive, and I find that they tend to take better care of their packages. Um, I, I, I do a lot of like tuners, you know, like the, the AM FM tuners, vintage ones, classics, you know, with, with a tube amp, with all that stuff in there. Um, and you know, they're, they're, some of them are worth you know thousands of dollars that I sell for a friend of mine at work, and I find that if I send it through USPS, sometimes more often the box will arrive damaged. If I send it through FedEx, it doesn't. So that plus FedEx prices are a, sometimes quite a bit less. All right, so we talked about my update on the eBay sales that I, or the, the listings that I posted. Um, the next video that I put out, I'm going to get more in detail of like pictures to take, how to take them, um, you know, quick ways to make sure that you, know, you can uh, describe your, your listing well so that if someone's searching for it, they'll find your item. Um, so we talked about shipping, we talked about that. I think that's about it for this video. So if you have any other questions, if you have anything else that you want to know about eBay, let me know, put it in the comment section. Uh, make sure, you know, of course, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell, share, please share. I, I, I'm so grateful to all the people out there who share these videos, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, you know, all that social media stuff. Um, it helps me to... 
be able to put more time into making more videos. So, again, thanks again for watching. See you all later. All right, so just wrapping up the, um, uh, the end of this video, I guess, uh, I, I got to a point where I was starting to edit um, the other video that I filmed before this, and my phone went off stating that I sold something else. So that router that um, you're going to see in a video that I'm going to be releasing soon about the projection screen TV, um, so I, I picked this up from them. You know, in the box, never used, and I just instead of scrapping it out for you know a little bit of wire and maybe you know one mid-grade board, um, I sold it for twenty bucks. So and now I have to ship it. So just wanted to add that in there. So thanks for watching.